What's up, everybody? Go Burns climbing back up on Mount Soapbox for yet another rant. And this is going to be a sequel to my Weapon Will rant. And you can go check it out on the rant playlist via my channel. But we're not going to be talking about the Weapon Will or the ability to store or sell weapons. That's all over there on the Weapon Will rant. So this rant idea was inspired by one of my viewers, one of my subscribers, Danish Gaming. Who happens to have an issue with the homing rocket launcher? Please rant about the homing rocket launcher. I can't tell you how irritating it is to buy a $1.7 million helicopter only to be thwarted by a glorified bottle rocket. Thanks for the rant suggestion, Danish. By the way, if you have a rant suggestion, feel free and leave it below in the comment section via Twitter or over on the Facebook page. By the way, both those social media links are below in the description section. So let's get to it, shall we? The Holman Rocket Launcher is one of several DLC weapons that have been rolled out over the past year by Rockstar, including the Gusenberg, a.k.a. the Tommy Gun, the Special Carbine, the Bullpup Rifle, Antique Pistol, Musket, Marksman Rifle, Marksman Pistol, Firework Rocket Launcher, the Combat PDW, Heavy Shotgun, and I'm sure I'm forgetting one or two. <laughs> it happens. So back to the homing launcher. It debuted with the Festa Surprise update back in December 2014, and it is admittedly a very old OP weapon. It's probably the most OP of DLC weapons. Now, what's interesting about the homing launcher is it's the first DLC heavy weapon. And no, the firework rocket launcher does not count as a heavy weapon, in my opinion. All the other heavy weapons, like the RPG, the grenade launcher, the minigun, they are all ranked weapons. That means you have to reach a certain rank in order to purchase those weapons. I believe it's rank 50 for the grenade launcher, 100 for RPG, and 120 for the minigun. But you can buy the homing rocket launcher or the homing launcher as soon as you start playing the game, as long as you have the money in your maze bank account. Now, there's two ways to look at this. One is the homing launcher gives uh, lower ranking gamers uh, a fighting chance against the more experienced veterans that are 100, 200, 300 plus in rank and have all the weapons already, all the skills, all the stats maxed out. But at the same time, it is a very, very OP weapon. And I think at the very least, the homing launcher should have been set at a rank, since it is a heavy weapon, maybe rank 110. Another option would be to add countermeasures to all aircraft so that they have a better chance up against the homing launcher and other fighter craft Pegasus vehicles that come with missiles, such as the Buzzard, the Laser, the Hydra, and the Savage. But even if you were to rank the homing rocket launcher at 110 and give countermeasures for all aircraft, which I think is a good idea, it would still not stop gamers from trolling other gamers who are simply flying around minding their own business or driving around minding their own business, like with me several times when I'd go into a public free mode. You know, there'd always be a buzzard or a laser or something coming after me with weapons trying to blow me the hell up. The fact is, it happens in free mode in Grand Theft Auto Online. Not in every single free mode lobby, but every once in a while you'll come into a lobby and somebody wants nothing better to do than to go around killing everybody else either in a buzzard or a laser, a hydra, a savage, the tank are the uh, insurgent for example i've seen it time and time again they'll chase somebody down in the insurgent shooting them throwing sticky bombs at them and you're trying your damnedest to destroy the insurgent but it takes a beating it takes bomb after bomb rocket after rocket and once you do destroy the enemy insurgent of the gamer that was antagonizing you you are rewarded by having to buy them a new one at sixteen thousand dollars but that's the risk you take whenever you go into free mode in a public lobby on Grand Theft Auto Online, which is why I'm usually in an invite session. Now, regarding the weapons that have come in Grand Theft Auto Online thus far, a lot of them are turning out to be more of the same. And I, for one, think it's high time for Rockstar to start rolling out more unique, funny, crazy, silly weapons. Like, for example, a revolver, a 44 mag, or a 357. That's something that a lot of gamers, including myself, have been asking for time and time again. 
All we want is a revolver, Rockstar, but you keep rolling out pistol after pistol after pistol. Some other weapons I'd like to see is a double barrel shotgun, throwing knives, throwing stars, a chainsaw, a longer bladed weapon like a katana or a machete, a spear gun, which would be really cool for underwater death matches. That would be awesome. Or a crossbow, a flamethrower, an elephant gun, a blunderbuss, a BAR, a Browning automatic rifle, an M1. I'm not asking for some of the over-the-top weapons that you see in the Saints Row series, but I do think we need a bit more variety than the usual SMG or the usual pistol or rifle. Though I wouldn't mind seeing remote uh, aircraft and cars brought back in the game, you know, the RC cars and airplanes that used to be part of mini games in, uh, what, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, I believe. I think it might have even been in Grand Theft Auto 4. I could be wrong about that. But you could, like, control these uh, RC cars and RC biplanes, and you fly them to a target, and you can detonate them. That would be kind of a cool weapon to have in the game. You take control of an RC car, an RC biplane, you fly it towards somebody on the map. <laughs> but there's, like, a limit to the range. But if you get close enough, you can blow their ass up with an RC car or plane. That would be so cool. <laughs> By the way, let me know below in the comments section of all the weapons I've mentioned, which one would you like to see added in a future update the most? And another option I'd like to see included with weapons is the dual wield option that was in previous Grand Theft Auto games. The ability to dual wield weapons like pistols and our SMGs. That would be awesome, especially if it was like rated to your shooting skills. Once you max out your shooting skills, then you unlock that ability to dual will two pistols or two SMGs. But they have to be the same model, which means you have to go buy another AP pistol or another SMG in order to be able to use both weapons while running around. I just think that would be a really cool idea. But concerning DLC weapons, yes, we need more unique, funny, crazy, silly weapons. But at the same time... There are some weapons that get added to Grand Theft Auto Online, like the Home and Rocket Launcher, that are so OP that they need to be ranked. I don't have a problem with lower ranked gamers having the ability to purchase a special carbine or a bullpup rifle so that they can have a fighting chance against other gamers. But I think the Home and Rocket Launcher should have been one of those weapons that gamers would have actually had to earn by ranking up because I've gone into missions with low ranked gamers that already had the homing rocket launcher that didn't know how to properly use it and I got ticked so many times when they would screw up and they would accidentally blow up this package or that target with the rocket launcher because they did not understand how potent how powerful that particular weapon is in other words such power must be earned because once it falls into the wrong hands bad things tend to happen Innocent people flying around in helicopters get blown out of the sky, and missions get failed by noobs that don't know how to properly use the homing launcher.